Hey guys, only here with a tutorial. Get ready, pay attention, blah 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 blah. Um, so when you're recording cinematics, uh, if you want to have a perfect 16x9 view, then you would, what you want to do is you want to either click here or here. Uh, and after that, this will show up. And this will be 16x9. Um, you're also you're also gonna want this so that you can record in a perfect 16x9 and not have black bars uh, on the top or bottom of your cinematics. Uh, blah, blah blah, you get it. Um, what else you're gonna want? What you're gonna need is Aussie Pig. So when you have Aussie Pig installed on Studio, you're gonna see this. Um, I'll put a link somewhere. Um, and once you and once you have that, then you can start building your cinematic. Um, so I like to uh, no go no higher than 40, and I like to go as far down as 20. Uh, as far as I know, uh, cutscene editor on un, uh, unmodded will go no lower than 20. So once you have the angle you want, click create a shot for use in a cutscene track, and it'll transfer over the FOV and the angle. And if you ever want to look back at it or replace it, click recall a shot. Um, uh, if you, okay. If you want to replace it, make another, and you already have another cam point, then all you have to do is, um, delete it, and then take another shot, and boom, it replaces number one, replaces the point one. Um, so, once you have your points down, and you're ready to record, what you're going to want to do is you want to make sure that nothing here is uh, highlighted. So say I have this on scale or rotate or move or whatever because I just finished like moving some models and shit. Just click select and then click it again so that nothing is highlighted. If it's already on select, just click it once. Um, and once you've already done that, click actual resolution. Actual resolution, hold on. Click actual resolution. What this will do is make your thing actually 1080p. Um, you might be worried that it's not going to record the full scene, but don't worry, it will if you're using a good recorder. I use Fraps. You can use OBS, you can use DX Story, blah blah blah. Um, now once you're ready, you want to set your tween time. I use 32 and I record at a frame rate of 30 so that I can get a 60, 600 uh, uh, FPS cinematic that lasts about one second after I'm done. Um, so, click workspace, click, okay, and then click this after you start your recording. Let it play out. And boom, we're done. We have a cinematic. Uh, I save mine in a folder like this, blah 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 blah. Um, after that, um, if you're using Vegas, what you're gonna what you're gonna want to do is open up Virtual Dub, um, and then drag it in, and then frame rate 600 or 300 or whatever whatever time you recorded it at. And what you're gonna want is you're gonna want to use Lagerith Lossless Codec. You're gonna have to install this before you Virtual Dub it. Um, and after that, once you're done, um, actually you can like, you can like cut this if you want, you can cut it so the, there's no extra frames. Uh, but once you're done, click F7 and then save it whatever you want. You don't have to do this if you're on After Effects, there's something called Interpret Footage, which will do the FPS thing for you. And you don't have to install Lagrith for that. Um, but this is how you do it if you're on Vegas. Alright, happy editing.